And here comes Ginebra, still down by six. Pacana tries to survey the situation, and a reach-in foul will be called here. I think uh, it looks like it's on Felici. So Mick Felici, only his first personal foul, second team foul for San Miguel. So Ginebra tries again. Hands off to Helter Brand. Picked up by Finisi. He rotated. Pacana to an open Artadi. Again, baseline drive. His layup bounces out. The tap also not there. And the loose ball taken by Pacana. Fresh 24. So Artadi being given the outside shot, actually. I mean, they, they are giving him a lot of room. And uh, he is thinking twice. In fact, there's no one even guarding uh, Paul Artadi right now. Finally, J.J. Helterbrand hits a three-pointer for Barangay Ginebra. And he cuts the lead to three points. And San Miguel answers back within seconds as Jay Washington gets a nice feed from Olsen Rosella. Now that's the execution at play of San Miguel. They thrive in those situations where the point guard pitches off to a wide-open teammate cutting in. Helter Brand inside to Mamarel for a slam. Billy Mamarel cuts the lead to three once again. Inside we go. Washington against Wilson. Trying to force his way. Double team. Hands off to Rasella. Rasella for three. That's short. Hinabra a chance to cut it to one. Maybe tie with a three-pointer. Cross court to Artadi. Puts on the brakes. Pacana fakes the three. And the Hinebra chant begins. Pacana almost losing it. Artadi, three-point area. Artadi hesitation move. Pacana fakes the shot. The short jumper does not go. And they get it to Custodio. Custodio loses control. Here comes Ginebra once again. And Joseph Yuchiko wants to call the play here. You know, in that previous play, when Barangay Ginebra needed to take a shot, Within 24 seconds, J.J. Heldebrand did not have the opportunity to score. Billy Mamarel off a great dish from Paul Artadi is fouled going to the basket. Well, as he takes these free throws, let's go now to Peaches Averin for a report. Okay, Jude, like you mentioned earlier, the last game of the Hinebra Kings was actually two weeks ago. So I asked JJ, what did you do during that two-week break? And he said, actually, we didn't have a break. You know, we only had two days off. The rest of the time, we were practicing. But then again, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way because, of course, they're in the quarterfinals, guys. Thanks very much, uh, Peaches. That's right. No time to rest. <laughs> And you see what uh, J.K. Heldebrand's three-point shot can ignite. I mean, it's just a momentum maker here for Barangay Hinebra. Well, there are two plays, Kenito, that really ignites the crowd. And that's a slam dunk and a three-pointer. <laughs> right. Barangay Hinebra has both in this quarter. Billy Mamaril had a slam dunk and J.J. Heldebrand had a three-pointer. And the lead has been cut to one. And a timeout has been called. Timeout. <laughs> You know, at halftime, we were talking about the different factors of consequence, and we said that he never had two check marks out of three, but yet they were 10 points behind. But we said, you know, if we just get their shooters in the groove, they're going to be back in the game. Well, we'll be right back. Don't go away. So 6.08 remaining here in the third quarter. Rosella with the ball, up by one. Inside they go. This is Danny Siegel against Willie Wilson. Kicks it out to the corner. They go. Hontiveros with seven on the clock. Hontiveros drives left. Fades away. Doesn't go. So now Barangay Ginebra. A chance to take the lead. Helterbrand for the lead. Rebound Wilson. Boy, the scrapper. Again getting the offensive rebound. A fresh 24-second shot clock for the Gin Kings. Helter Brand once again. Double team now by Hontiveros. Inside they go to Mamaril from the baseline. Takes the jumper, and it's short. Rasella in the front court. 
Gets open from Pakana, 15 for the bucket. Rosella with 11 points, and he's making a difference here. The lead up to three once again, Artadi with the ball, Barangay Hinebra looking to cut it to one. Paul Artadi picks up his dribble out to Helterbrand. JJ with five on the clock, Artadi drives baseline, tipped away with three on the shot clock. Shot clock at three seconds. So this is really uh, a catch and shoot situation, maybe a dribble or two for Barangay Hinebra. What's the call here? Is it a full timeout? A full timeout for Barangay Hinebra with 4.47 left. We'll be right back. A good look at uh, Don Don Ontiveros. But earlier, J.J. Helterbrand hit a three-pointer to tie the ball game. A quick hitter. Remember, there were only three seconds on the shot clock. And that was coming off a timeout, so well-executed play for Barangay Hinebra. Ontiveros out to Penisi. They want to go to Siegel. They feel like they have the matchup advantage here against Wilson. Danny Siegel forces up the shot, blocked away by Wilson. The tip also not there. The place is on, taken by Ontiveros. Ontiveros drives inside, out to Custodio. Custodio reverse, and takes the lead. lead. What a move, down the baseline by the rookie. A bon Bon Custodio, looking like the steal of the draft for the San Miguel Beermen. Elter Brand out to Valenzuela for the lead. Valenzuela, come on! Juti Valenzuela gives Barangay Hinebra a one-point lead. It's a law of averages, Jude. Zero out of 13 for three-point distance among the three top Barangay Hinebra gunners in the first half. Don Don Ontiveros, Besagot. He answers back with a three-point floater of his own. And this is what the fans paid good money for. This is basketball action at its best. Well, they've got Araneta Coliseum rocking. Barangay Hinebra and San Miguel. Pontiveros, hesitation move, out to Siegel. You know, in this situation, you don't fall in love with a three-point shot. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of tension. So if your three-point shots are going, look not to be predictable. Try to draw the defense towards you and then execute a play where you put the ball in the hands of the big man inside. Maybe Billy Mamaril or Cutters. But play decoy because you can't fall in love with a low percentage shot. They give it to Siegel and he loses control. From the outside, Contiveros drives and he lays it in. Don Don Contiveros, after a smooth first half, has started to heat up with five points here in the third. Now this is the kind of depth that Coach Shotankinson has with his team. Lodi Tugade, who had 15 points in the first half, hasn't even played in the second half. And Junti forced to foul. Ginebra in the penalty will send uh, Mike Pingris to the lane. That was a turnover for Ginebra as uh, Willie Wilson losing control. Is Mark, Mark Pingris, former FEU Tamarau, played for Pure Foods, now with San Miguel. And that wasn't even close. Uh, what was close was this play from J.J. Helterbrand to Billy Mamarel for the slam as he slams home a KFC assist delivery of the quarter. Magpa delivers a KFC, just dial 887-8888. KFC, it's finger licking good. You know, that play that we just saw illustrates exactly what I was talking about. When you're a three-point shooter and you draw the defense towards you, you play decoy. Mark Pingis block shot. makes up for those two free throw misses by flying through from the weak side and just swatting that ball away from the Junti Valenzuela layup. Look at this. Bam, like a volleyball spike. And Junti Valenzuela trying it with a left hand, but Mike Pingris is more known for his defense than his shooting. He just missed two free throws. Ronald Tube tries to squeeze through the defense inside. 
And there's a whistle by Boy Cruz. Now San Miguel, far from, in, far from being in the penalty situation, has only had 13 foul. Valenzuela will inbound for Barangay Ginebra, down by four once again. This is Eric Mek. They're trying to go to Ronald Tubit. The two former Red Warriors going at each other. Here's uh, Artadi, swings it to Valenzuela. Valenzuela for three. 